Hello, everyone. Hi. Well, let me know if you can hear me. Hey, uh, I have on my song. You know, we might be going in and out tonight, but it is what it is. I see a bunch of storm clouds out. So, uh, you know, I'm in Florida. So the, the summer storms, the evening storms, they just kind of get you. But, you know, we're going to keep moving on. So hello, everyone. Don't forget to say hi. So I see Sam. Pam, Mark, and Carrie, thank you so much for watching. My watch just told me that I was live. Um, so we are doing a couple different projects today. Nothing like super fancy. So I went through some of my materials, and I don't know about you, but I buy a lot of I buy a lot of stuff from the Target dollar spot uh, many times, many times without a plan. But like, oh, you know. I can use it with my glow forge. I can use it with this. So I have it. So um, we're doing a couple different things today. I think we're all using things from the target dollar spot. Um, one, uh, we got this tray. So <laughs> we have um, failure runs. So this was our first failure run you can see that my board shifted so it engraved up here. The reason why it happened, so one thing that I was getting a lot of comments on my replay telling me to take out my crumb tray, yes, I do know that. I was trying to see if I could make it working, and so um, it cannot. So like this one, it messed up over here, so I started over and did over here, and then you can see it moved there. So we're going to do... Probably what we should have done from the beginning is out the chrome tray in so we can set that up. Um, after that, I have a sign blank. So this is from Target Dollar Spot. This was actually like a wood color, but I very quickly painted it with just white paint and a, a baby wipe. I, did, I was not careful. It's messy, but it, it works for the live, okay? I mean, it's just been sitting in here, so you know, it's going to get done. Uh, Kimberly says her bullseye playground has been desolate for the past few weeks. I know that they're restocking now. The reason, the reason why I have such cool stuff right now is because they're from previous. Them. So that's, that's why I have them. I think this is fall. Um, and then last but not least, I have slate. So this is slate. This is from target. Um, so this will be nothing super fancy. I'm just going to show you the settings I do for slate and some things to look out for. So, you know, pretty simple tonight, just a way for us to do some projects, maybe get some ideas if you're like me and you have, um, things that you don't need. There's a ton more in my, in my closet too. So, you know, we could do lives forever on past season right stuff. Okay. So let's do the first one. Oh, yeah, my video seems laggy. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to comment back about my video. My connection is insecure due to a. Nick, is there a storm coming through? Yes. Okay. Husband's in IT. Hey, in your IT opinion, could a storm affect the Wi-Fi? Yes. He said yes. So um, hopefully, hopefully the replay will be okay. Um, if the if this video on YouTube or whatever is rough, I have the software that records it, and so I'll re-upload it. So hopefully that works. I hope. I'm so sorry, guys. So let's go through, and we're going to set up our first cut. With the chrome tray out so you can see here's my glow forge um, let me see sorry about my video guys so we're gonna go over here and take our chrome tray out i'm gonna very gently lift this and place this right here you can hear lots of things moving because there's a ton of stuff inside of it and so i'm going to try do 
screw my two little boards. So this can almost always prop my material up to the height that I need. So we're gonna pop this in here. high enough the seat so there we go it wasn't low so you can see we have our is, is my connection still bad guys let me see if my hot spots any better so oh I am going to that I'm trying my hotspot. So let's see if this is one second. Can't connect to the network, so no. So, with the Wi-Fi being bad, there's a very good chance we may not glow for it tonight, but we're going to keep trying. So, I'm just going to keep going. I'll probably just re-upload this as the recording, so just keep that in mind. We are doing that because we want to make sure we have the most accurate picture of our board so that our alignment is going correctly. So I got that my bad Wi-Fi signal just went away. So please tell me if my video is doing better. Um, if you've joined after I've said that, I apologize. There's a storm coming through in Florida. So it is making my Wi-Fi a little bit choppy. All right, so you can see my flowers are in there. And we're going to set it up in our board. And I'm just going to make it a tiny bit smaller. That way I don't risk getting too close to the edge. And we're just going to find our alignment. So this is the last time we're trying this. Let's go ahead and hit print and see how long this will take. Um, okay, so see how it says unable to complete the print? So a lot of times, I'm going to try this one more time. You can see material thickness must be no, must be less than half inch tall with the tray in or between one and a half and two inch with the tray out. So that means that although I have my material propped up, I do need to prop it up a little bit more because the boards are not quite high enough for uh, this right here. So I'm gonna remove that screen so we can get a better view of the camera. So we need to lift this up a little bit more. I'm just gonna use something that I was gonna show you later. Uh, Hobby Lobby has cute little mini boards. So I'm gonna take this and put one more in here and see if that helps, okay? Okay, so Mark says it's better now. Hopefully we hang on through the rest of this. So let's pop back over and add Glowforge back to the stream. Uh, let's get rid of this message and then repeat the same process, set focus, hit the middle. And so this, we're just setting the focus just like we were doing before. So once this is done, you're going to see that this, the, the image of this will shift a little bit because the camera has focused in a different spot. So you can see it still says focusing up here. And now we're ready. So now we're going to find a good placement again. I'm just going to use my arrows to nudge this up a little bit and place it like that. So let's see if we have this propped up enough now. Uh, you know, and again, like this sort of thing is not the usual. We're kind of trying to do something that we don't typically do. So it looks like it's working and it'll be four minutes. So um, let's go back and I'm going to remove this from the stream so you can see it better as it runs. So let's go over here, remove that. So we have this right here. I'm just going to grab my camera, bring it on top here so you can see it better. And turn on my inline fan so we can ventilate. So let's go ahead, press this button and see how this goes. So again, if you remember from past weeks, the lip was too high, so the laser was hitting it. I think with it here like this, it shouldn't make an issue. The problem will be when it gets up to the top of here. So, so far, so good.
So if we can get past this flower here, then I think we'll be okay. So I know someone commented on my Facebook that they engraved these boards. Um, I know, Mark, sometimes you go to Target after lives. Has anyone else been able to grab one of these boards for a project? Okay, it is looking pretty good now, I will admit. So I think we're going to make it through. So let's go ahead and bring the camera back up so we can talk about some other stuff while we wait for that to go. So we, we have learned, just moving my camera, we have learned that these boards for sure need the crown tray taken out. And if you think that it starts off okay, it will still mess up over here. Yeah, we're still looking good. So again, don't, don't try to push your luck with this. It's not going to work. Okay, so the next one that we're going to do is we are going to work with this sign, okay? So this is another target blank. I painted it white, and I want to use the other side of this plywood with 3M. So this right here, I wanted to nest it, and I did this project two years ago. Okay, so that means that this has been sitting for two years not used. So I am going to use the last bit of this space for my design on this sign. And I'm not going to nest my words because at this point, since this has been sitting for two years, it's a sunk cost. So we are going to use that entire material. So while this is going, I'm going to go back into Glowforge. So the cool thing is because this is running, I can start a new, I can work on another project. It won't affect it. So I have this let's get cozy design in here. So you can see it's going to show the last board because that's the last picture it took, but we can still set up our design. So I'm going to right click and group and we are, we're gonna measure what space that we can do that do in this. So we have about eight inches to work with in here and about eight inches to work with with that board. So I'm gonna make my design a little bit smaller so if you um, are not using Glowforge Premium, you can resize this before you bring it in. I do have Glowforge Premium, so I'm gonna resize it now. So I'm gonna make it about six inches wide to offset the, the rest of the space that we need for this. And then I'm actually going to draw a rectangle around it. So I'm gonna insert shape, do a square, and I'm going to put in my dimensions. So I'm gonna do it about, I'm gonna do about seven and a half inches wide since my board is, my leftover board is not as much. And then I am going to do it about 10 and a half inches tall. So in order to do different dimensions, we need to unlock this little chain and do 10.5. Now I have the perfect size board. And then I can pop my design right in here. So it's going to look a little bit off. That's because we, you know, are working in here. So let's go ahead, drag this on top so it cuts first. And we're going to use one of my cut settings that I have in here. Birch should work. And then you can see right here, I'm going to do cut again and birch. So these two settings are speed at 160 and full power. Um, the other thing that I like to do when I do this is I'm actually going to cut this in reverse. I like getting the most power to the 3M first. I think that it gives me a better cut. So I'm going to click on this and reverse it. Now, if you are not in Glowforge Premium, you can do all of those steps before we go, before you bring it in here. So the last step is I'm gonna grab this entire design right here, go to my align, and then I'm going to center it, and then center the middle. There's no like center, center, so that's what we're doing. Hi, Cassandra. All right, so now let's look at our board. I'm gonna take off the screen so you can, so we can see a, a bigger shot with the camera, and I always forget which way my mouse goes. Okay, so let's go right here. It worked. So we have this really cute single line design. This is from Chameleon Cuttables. Um, I do have in the description a uh, code. If you haven't ordered from her before, you can save on your first order. But you can see looks much better if, if you just take the crown tray out. So don't be like me and really dig your heels to want to do something without the crown, with the crown tray in because that was way easier. So that was a... a 
$15 lesson because there are three boards and they're $5 each. Okay, so I'm putting the um, I'm putting the crumb tray back in because we're going to do the next board. Okay, so we're putting the board in. I'm going to do 3M side up. It's just a preference. Okay, oops, I closed it on the board. So we're going to let this scan. Uh, hey, Deanna. So we're going to let this scan and let's just compare while we do this. Okay. So this is from our first night. Not terrible, but we got that. This is from the second one. It started right here and around here you can see it moved. So I just stopped it and then I turned it around and we got the same thing there. So not good, but this turned out pretty nice. So I'm really happy about that. If any of my friends watch this, if you say you want this, you can have it. But my friends don't watch this. All right, so we're going to hit the three. Oh, let me share my screen for you. One second. So we're going to go back into Glowforge, and we're going to set the focus. So three dots right here. So this is important for these boards because if you look, if you saw beforehand, the side of this was grayed out because it wasn't like set to the right focus. And so it was thinking that it wasn't a safe cutting area. Because we set the focus, we can now kind of go all the way to the edge here. So you can see my board is, my rectangle is going a little bit off the edge. So I'm going to take this and just shrink it down. But I'm using this as my alignment tool So two, So before I do anything, I'm going to align the middle. I'm going to align the center so that way my design is still in the center of this square that we're going to cut. Now, you might be asking, Lisa, why are you cutting so much 3M and wasting it? Um, you know, it's because this board has been sitting unused for two years, and so it's a sunk cost. And so for the ease of doing this easier, that is just going to be part of the cost to me to do that. So let's go ahead and print. Um, let, I'm going to move these boards so you can watch it start. So this says it's going to be seven minutes. So start thinking of some questions for me, guys. Okay. Let's do that. Let's take that off so we can see everything fully. So that's where our design's going to go. And let that go from there. So this is your time, guys. What kind of questions do you want to ask? How, what kind of projects are you doing? How are we feeling? Uh, you know, another interesting fact, I'm not, I'm not wearing shoes this time, but I am wearing socks. So if you guys watch, you know that I, I do not prefer to wear shoes. So just a little treat for you guys. Okay, the cut's going well. It looks like it's, it's cutting. So we have just under seven minutes. Um, while I have you, is the signal better? Uh, Mark, am I ready for Myrtle Beach? So that's a very good question. So let me go through and, well, I'm going to move the camera back to me because you've already started that. So I am very excited about Myrtle Beach. If you guys have not heard me talk about it yet, um, I am getting ready to do two shows in September. So, um, on... August 15th, I will be teaching at, well, not teaching, kind of teaching, speaking at the Start Here Academy for the Graphics Pro Expo, used to be called the NBM Show in Charlotte, North Carolina. So I will be there along with another, a couple other, it's crazy to consider myself one, but influencers. So uh, Stan from T-Shirt Side Hustle and Eve from The Baby's Booty will be there along with our favorite Caesar, um, and that'll be kind of hosted by Aaron from our success group. So that is the 15th. I'm also going to be hanging out at the show for the next two days. So I'll be in Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, and then Myrtle Beach, South Carolina is the following weekend. I believe the show starts on the 22nd for early shopping. I'm not teaching any of those times. So if you go for early shopping, um, I don't know if you'll see me there because I, I, have to set up all my stuff. Um, but I will be teaching that Friday and that Saturday. So I have classes both days. 
I have an intro to Glowforge class. So if you are in my live, like I would love for you to be in it, but you probably will know that information. I will do a basics to designing class, which I would say is like maybe an intermediate designing class if we are really honest about it. Um, it's basic in the fact that I really, really explain the background to things. So if you've been watching me design for a while, you will probably know a lot of it, but it also might be helpful to know it. And then I'm also going to be doing a production class with Glowforge and vinyl. I'm very excited about that because I will have a Glowforge at this show. I'm not fortunate in the fact that anyone provided one for me. I literally am going to bring a second unit and ship it up there and back. So if you're watching and you haven't thought about getting a Glowforge, this might be a good time to get one using my link. Um, but it'll be helpful. I'm excited to have it there. I'll be talking more about my resources, my, my training, my one-on-ones. Um, I have not finished my classes yet. If anyone would like to, you know, bankroll me so I can quit my day job and have more time, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But it would be nice if I could quit my job. My husband's in his office. I was hoping he heard me. Um, but I will be there, and so I'll be teaching classes. So I'm very, very excited. Please come say hi. Um, just a warning, if you're going to the Myrtle Beach, South Carolina show, um, the way flights are working and shipping, I basically will have to pack up the Glowforge immediately after my class is done on Saturday, take it to the UPS store, and then drive to the airport. So if you want to come say hi to me, um, make sure you do it at the front end of the show, not the tail end. Um, and I'm going to try to kind of um, work out doing some videos. So yes, um, I'm glad the I'm glad. So yeah, I'm like glad and not glad that the Glowforge worked out. I would have loved if someone could have sponsored it and just sent me one. But, um, you know, it is what it is. And Cassandra, don't I love my job? I do. So I'm a social media coordinator for a county in Florida. It's a really, really great environment. It's a really, really good job. Um, but if I was able to quit it, I could do more stuff for you guys. So, um, but that's a good point. I know some of you guys asked me if I would ever do a Patreon or a YouTube membership. At this current juncture, I'm not doing that because I don't have enough time to really commit to doing additional content that's exclusive. But I will say that if you really enjoy the content and you would like to support me in different ways, you know, and not and not buying a Glowforge, um, we do have the super thanks feature turned on on the YouTube channel. So basically, you can just send a, a donation or a super thanks to whatever you want. And it's I think it's turned on for every video. So um, that's a good way if you would like to. Of course, I put this out because I enjoy doing it. And I care for you guys. So please don't ever feel obligated. I just know that some of you do ask for memberships. And at this point in time, it just is it would not be fair to you. Um, I really, really want to, but I really don't, I, I don't want to turn into a channel that only puts out paid content. I think that kind of goes against everything that I built. Um, and I also don't want people who do pay and invest to feel like they're not getting their investment. So I hope that makes sense. Um, all that stuff. And Cassandra said, how about hit that like button? That helps too. Yes, it does. Liking, commenting, engaging, sharing, all of that is useful. Um, and I, I, I love it. So um, we've got a minute 30 left on this. The cut's looking pretty good. Do we have any questions as we keep going? So honestly, we might not do the slate tonight. It just depends on how long this takes. So let me open the slate because I haven't done that for you. So I'm wondering if like when we assemble the out the when we assemble the sign and paint it, if we can do the slate while we're doing that. We're almost done. It's cutting the square. So here's the slate. Just a circle. And it's from uh, Target dollars, Target dollar spot. So I believe I bought this in February or even beginning of March. And if you guys have been following me, you know, once we got to the middle of March and some family stuff happened, I just dropped everything. So I got a ton of stuff that I'm just coming back to use. Um, I do see, I do see in my closet stuff from the Target dollar spot. It was either last fall or the fall before. It might have been from two years ago. So we're going to try to find a way to make those work and kind of set that up as well. So we've got 17 seconds left on this. 
Um, I'm going to go into my Glowforge dashboard and set kind of set up the next cut. Bug, bug. So this is going to be the SVG fall leaf drawing from Chameleon Cuttables. So got one second left on this. Okay. And let's go through and I'll remove it so you can see me unload this. Okay, so here is our cut. You can see it right there. I am going to take some painter's tape. If I have it, there, there it is. I'm going to take some painter's tape and place it where that apostrophe is. Oh, wait. I'm going to take some painter's tape and paste it where that apostrophe is so it comes up with everything else. But then the rest of it I can take kind of one at a time. So let's go ahead and do this. And I used to have a little blue tray to put my pieces in, but I cannot find it. So you can see there's that. Let's bring this over. And then... Let's take out our cozy. That looks pretty cute. And then really quickly take these out. Yeah, Nick's probably glad you're using some that they make a big deal out of. No. You know what's funny is he kind of is like, why do you get so much stuff? And then, you know, I'll start doing stuff. And I'm like, hey, look at this thing that I did. I finally used the craft project, the craft thing I bought three years ago. So I like use it just enough that it's like kind of justified. Ooh, I dropped the pieces, but we're okay. Okay, we're just gonna pop this slate in here, put it over on the side and go from there. So let's kind of, I'm just doing a little bit of rearranging. You guys know I put everything on wheels and I use one camera. So now we're gonna go right here. We're going to start setting this up but I'm going to set my, up my engrave first. So I'm going to put the Glowforge back over there. It's really dark. Who knows if you're going to see this. I should have put something light underneath it, but, you know, shoulda, woulda, coulda. So I'm going to set my focus. You can kind of see the board is right here. And I got a super thanks. Thank you, Dave. I really appreciate that. I know it kind of sounds salesy, but it does help me out. Um, and, you know, it's so that I can do more content for you guys. Hi, Nicholas. It's starting to rain right now. That's okay. Hopefully we can make it. So, okay. So I am going to put this little leaf in the corner here, and then I'm going to do my settings. So let me show you the settings I do for slate. So I have been doing my slate at speed 980 power. Okay. So you can see it filled in right there. It looks really cute. And let's go ahead and print. So let's see how long this is going to take. And then once that's done, we'll put the camera fully on me so we can start setting this up. So this will be 17 minutes. So hopefully we'll be done in time for this. All right, so let's go through. That's my dog. And we'll start that. OK. So I'm going to do a method that I wouldn't like recommend all the time, but for the sake of time and speed, we're going to do it like this. So let me go ahead and take this little dot out and take our inside parts out of this. So they came out really clean. My settings look pretty good. And there wasn't any charring on this side. So I'm pretty, pretty happy about that because you know, I didn't want to have to sand it. And you don't you don't want charring if you can help it because one, charring typically indicates you need to clean your machine. And two, it just is more work at the end. Okay, so all of this has 3M on the back. So we're going to go through and peel this. I got my nails done last week with dip powder, so it's very hard to peel. Okay, there we go. So we got this first one. So this is the L for let's. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start up here and put the L here to kind of set the place with this. And then I'm going to put my cozy down here so that it doesn't move as much. So this looks really cute. And I'm just going to find 
a vulnerable edge. Hey, maybe someone can get me uh, tweezers from my tool thing. All right, so we're peeling this. This works out really well. So we can see, and Cassandra says it's been raining in Pensacola all week. Yeah, we're just in rainy season, you know, just poking fun, Cassandra. Pensacola, down here, we don't consider that Florida, but, you know, it is Florida rain. The camera's right here. You won't be on camera. You're okay. <laughs> Nick is not camera ready. All right, so now I'm just using my tweezers to get this last bit. All right, so we have that set like this. So I'm going to place it down here and press it down. So that way my board doesn't move because it has something on both sides to kind of set it up. So before I forget, I'm going to do the dot to the, the, the apostrophe. So we're going to go over here. This is going to be difficult. There we go. Also, the dot reminded me how I didn't add the period to the acrylic sign we made two weeks ago. Um, and I wanted to say thank you for your patience with no live last week. Um, I just didn't promote it because I had some like important, you know, like dead dad errands basically to run with my mom last Thursday. And I didn't know how long they would take really. And I didn't want to rush spending time with her. So I just went ahead and didn't do a live last week. So I didn't rush my mom and I had a really, really good day with her. Um, got overpriced manicures and all that stuff. So um, thank you for your patience. Not sure if you even noticed I didn't do it, but thanks anyway. Uh, Cassandra, do you ever use duct tape to remove your mask paper? Yeah, I do. Um, I, I don't know. Most of the time it works. Sometimes it doesn't. You guys know I, I hate masking, so I don't do it unless I have to. Um, I haven't tried it with the 3M backing. I don't know why. I, I just feel like maybe I'm going to, like, ruin it or something. Like, 3 ms so expensive that I don't want to, like, risk removing it wrong and redoing my cut and wasting all of that. Now, you may say, Lisa, there's 3M on the back of that big board. You probably could have nested your design and saved it. I hear that, but also the 3M has been sitting there for two years. And so at this point, like, it's a sunk cost. So for me, it's better to save time and just use this as a template than um, try to really make it work, you know. All right, so we're doing our ETS. So we're just pressing that down in there. And I'm actually going to paint with this on here as well. I don't recommend that normally, but it's just for, you know, time's sake for our live. Okay, so we're going to do this like a terracotta orange color. What do you guys think? What color should I do this text? I don't want to do black because I feel like it's it's like always freaking black and white, like black and white everything. Like if you guys watch me on Instagram, I do unpopular opinion sometimes. My my unpopular opinion is you like, why are we painting everything black and calling it trendy? Like. It's the same thing with like, you know, how everyone was doing shiplap a couple years ago and painting brick. Although I do like painted brick, but you know what I'm saying. So all that to say, I don't think I want to paint this black. Okay. So we have that there. We're going to kind of press it down so the 3M attaches. The 3M is not there for the, the, the um, square. You see this? So I can lift it up no problem. So let's get cozy. Bengals orange. Yeah. So Mark, uh, Nick and I are going to Cincinnati next weekend. Um, we're going to go see family. Nick is born and raised in Cincinnati. I have family in Dayton. Um, but I'm very excited. I'm going to go to the Cincinnati Zoo. I'm going to see Fiona the hippo. And um, I guess there's like a big fireworks show every Labor Day. What's it called? He can't hear me. It's three letters. I don't know which what it is, um, but they do a big fireworks show. So I'm going to mix this terracotta and this Bengals orange color for the text. So we're going to go through, mix it. 
Um, I like the terracotta, but I want it to be a little bit more orange. So we're just mixing it like this. Also, I'll be honest, I didn't know how the terracotta would, would go because I label, um, I label when I open these and I opened this two years ago. So um, it still looks okay, but I wasn't sure. Okay. Oh, you're 90 miles. Where, where are you, uh, Mark? I forgot. I'm sorry. Oops. I got paint on my table, but we'll fix it. Okay, so now I'm just gonna hold down and very gently paint this. And I just wanna be careful not to get it in on the board. So I'm going to kind of go from the middle and brush out. Um, is this standard practice? Should you do this for your products? No, 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 no. We're just doing this for the live for time. If you sell these products, I recommend before you put it in the board, to basically paint them after it's cut but before the board. Um, if you're a spray paint person, you can place it on a piece of painter's tape and spray paint that. We are saving time here, okay? So this is this is not a fully recommended setting. Oh, Mark, you're in Louisville. I wanted to go there, but it's a little bit too far of a drive for a quick weekend. Um, because we want to see um, Southern Seminary. Nick was doing the, the undergrad program with them. So we wanted to visit stuff. And I think, I don't know if the Ark Encounter is there. I can't remember. But I don't know if we're going to make it. But I like Louisville. I was not far from there a couple years ago when the Kentucky Derby happened. Oops, I got it in the middle. That's fine. That's fine. We're fine. Um, let me get a little makeup wipe, not a makeup wipe, a baby wipe. Um, these are dry, so we'll do it later. Um, so this, because I already painted it, I might just paint again on the inside. Again, this is exactly why I'm not recommending this for normal practice. This is just so we get a project done during the live. So I'm very excited to go to Cincinnati. If you guys don't know who Fiona the Hippo is, she's like an online zoo celebrity. She was born six weeks premature several years ago and is thriving. And her mother, Bibi the Hippo, just had another baby a couple weeks ago, which honestly is what prompted me to ask Nick to go to Cincinnati because I wanted to see the hippo. But hey, we should see family too. Um, so again, we're just continuing to paint. I cannot emphasize enough how much I don't recommend this. Um, but this is, this is what we're doing. So we're just going to continue to do that and just make messes. And I'm just going to use little makeup brushes or something to put white back in there. So we're just holding down. Also, I think that we're going to try to go to a baseball game. I've never been to the Great American Ballpark. I've only been to Tropicana Field. Um, the great thing about Cincinnati is up until last year, their teams are terrible. So you can get tickets really cheap. So we're going to get some cheap tickets to the Great American Ballpark, maybe. I'm excited maybe for that. I'm really excited for the fireworks. We're almost done with this. Um, Mark has not been in the Ark Encounter about an hour from a, from you. Yeah, I, I really want to go. We have friends who went there on a road trip and they enjoyed it. So um, it's not, you know, out of my list of things to do there. It just depends on how much family is available and on what days because we're doing Allegiant flights, if you guys are familiar, they only fly on certain days, but the rates are so cheap. So we only have so much time. Okay, so we got this. We painted that. All right, so let's lift this up here. I'll do this, this for you. Okay, so now check it out. So we have our Let's Get Cozy. I am going to 
touch up. Oops, I just made more of a mess. That's fine. We're fine. Okay. So we have our design right here. Hey, Nancy. Uh, we have some spots in there from where we messed up. It is what it is. Like, you know, like I said, I don't recommend painting that way, but that's how we did it. Um, so let's see if my baby wipes are any better. And we still have like six minutes left on this engrave. So you guys can definitely hang out if you want to, to see it. I also don't expect you to. So let me try to get something to wipe this out. One second. Um, my cleaner's not in here, so we're just going to do plan B and use another dry, dry baby wipe because it wasn't closed all the way to fill in that space. So this, we painted it with like a really distressed look, so I'm not going to really focus on doing a ton in there. So we're just going to kind of use my finger to kind of clean this up and the cheek. Okay, so let's do a tiny bit, oops. Yeah, I don't, you've heard me say this. I don't, I don't, you know, I don't endorse this, but I'm trying to fix it because we have time and we are going quickly, so it is how it is. I just want you to kind of see the final product. Um, I think you know that it's not exactly the best move, but this is what we're doing. Okay, so now I'm just kind of doing this and dabbing it so it doesn't go on as strong. We're just putting that on top. And it's like doing makeup. We're just going to kind of blend, blend around it. Okay. There's dry paint in there. And then I'm not sure if I can get these last ones very well. And I know I say it a lot, but I want to make sure if anyone joins after the fact, don't endorse painting this method, but we're just fixing it. Okay. I'm just using my brush to get the, the white off that I just put on here. So I'll use a little tiny makeup brush later to fix it. Or I might just leave it. I'm just making this for myself. So I don't really care. Okay. So check this out. We have our Let's Get Cozy. It's got the nice 3D look. And this is still using Woodpecker's Birch Plywood. This was eighth of an inch. And I put 3M on the back. So this is a design from Chameleon Cuttables. I thought it was really cute. She has her example on like a white, sort, a white sign with a black border. I might paint this black, I'm not really sure, um, but I'll have this on display soon. I'll either have it at my house or honestly, I might take it to my office because, you know, you can always use more decorations at the office, right? Um, it just, it's homey. I brought a plant in there too. All right, so I'm just cleaning this up while we wait. Um, we've got two minutes left. so. While we're doing that, can you think of any last minute questions, anything that you want me to go over? Um, I don't know if you saw, but earlier today, I uploaded a YouTube short. Well, a short video on all the platforms. So Instagram, TikTok, uh, YouTube shorts on um, how to fix the snap to grid problem. So if you're moving stuff into the studio and it's like not, it's just like jumping around, you probably have Snap to Grid turned on. So I show you how to turn it off. Um, if there are more quick videos you want me to do, like things that you want me to show you, please let me know. I got a good comment on Instagram where someone was asking about zooming in, zooming out. 
So I'll probably go ahead and do that too. But um, I'm thinking about just doing a series on silhouette tips. So um, if that interests you, please let me know. And please let me know what you would like to do. Um, we have one minute left. So let's kind of look at this again. Let's get cozy so you can see the orange at the top. But for the rest of it, looks pretty good. So I'll, I'll probably leave it for the most part. I might touch it up. And then we also have our board progression. So the good one, the bad ones, you know. But I do think that this looks really cute. You know, you can put your jewelry on it. You can put, I used to use these trays for like my pens and pencils at my old job. Um, so this is just a cute little tray, something that you can kind of display stuff on. If you don't want to engrave on it, it's still a cute display tray for um, fall. Uh, we do have, I do have two more trays similar to that. They're square that I got from Target. So we'll be doing that in a video soon. Um, and then here is the template that we used. I do not recommend painting it within the, with it in the template, but again, just to really nail down the point, we are doing that to get the live done in an appropriate amount of time. So please paint before you put it on there. Do not paint while it's on there because then you can get paint all over the place and you're not going to be happy with it. I can tell you now. So I talked installed long enough. The cut is finishing up. Just waiting for my machine to cool down so I can open it. So you guys know I've been trying to do more projects that aren't just my name or initials. Like more projects that aren't words. So this is what we did with the slate. So here is the slate board. We have some fall leaves there. It'll be really nice for charcuterie. And then you could also, what I'll do later is I'm going to use some cutting board oil, some mineral oil, and oil this so that it'll have a nice sheen and the color will be a little bit deeper and a little bit richer. So um, I'm, I'm really happy with slate. It's actually one of my favorite things to produce. I think that the, the color and the contrast is like really stunning. So this was just a $5 slate board from the Target dollar spot. I buy a lot of slate um, from JDS um, at Christmas time. It's like one of my more popular items. So um, something really simple to do. Again, this was a design from Chameleon Cuttables and I thought it was, it turned out nice. So I think I've had you long enough. Uh, so we have this board right here. We have our let's get cozy. And then we have this tray here. So um, these were all designs from Chameleon Cuttables. So Sabine from Chameleon Cuttables, thank you so much for um, the wonderful designs. They worked out really well. And um, I just see, uh, I shot with nesting on studio. Do you have a video already on that? Let me look. I know I have addressed nesting in videos. I don't know if I have a set one, but let me think about, let me think about if there is one in a video that I can comment. So I'll check on that for you. Um, it might be tomorrow because I actually have orders to finish tonight. I couldn't do them for the live because it's, it's like not stuff for the live. Uh, so I'm going to finish some orders. I hope you guys have a great week. I will try to do a live before I leave. I leave next Friday. So depending on how things go, I might still do my live next Thursday night. If not, then I will see you in two weeks because I will be gone. So thank you so much for joining. If you liked it, don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And um, I will talk to you guys later. I thank you so much and I hope you have a good evening. Thank you.